Hello, welcome back to the third part of a spotlight on Mike Pluck. Here's my beautiful copy of Planet of the Apes number one. The front is perfect. There's not one thing wrong with this, okay? Gorgeous front. But, unfortunately, there's a tape pool. You can barely see it. There's a small tape pool right here. They take away some of the black. So, for that, it's not perfect. Boo hoo me. Anyhow, my pro came on the scenes and he evolved fairly quickly. And in many great authors, the black and white format works so well with his style. And I think for any big Pluk fan, it is almost a must-have to have his run of Planet of the Apes. Here you go. As you can see, I'm just gonna do minimal talking as possible and just let you enjoy the gorgeous drawing of Mike Brook. Incredible details. I love Planet of the Apes series and I am excited to see what the next movie is going to be. I think the new movies have been fantastic. Beautiful clean lines with great amount of details. If you watched my first video, you can see it is a big jump from his uh, first work as far as inking and using the right amount of shade and black. Just beautiful. Look, beautiful picture. Beautiful drawing right there. Beautiful work showing the shadow. I think great artists just know how to apply light and shadow. Just incredible. Just look at this panel.
Now in my mind, my look is so so underrated and underappreciated. And part of it is too because he doesn't do a lot of work. You know, his work is very small. But unlike uh, say Storanko, Storanko did very few body of works also, but he's very much well loved and you know, often mentioned by many generation of collectors but when it comes down to Plug, I think he deserves just as much uh, love in my opinion you know because uh, just look at this just look at how much detail is in this beautiful panels masterful After I show this book, I will uh, show you some more recent work of Mike Plook after he left the comic field, just to show you uh, how he, is, he has evolved. And as you can see already, you know, just a short year or two into the business, he has changed significantly improve significantly in his inking skills. So lovely work. Just look at that. You know, this first issue of Planet of the Ape is just pure eye candy. Um, even uh, you know I, I can look through this book many many times and I have because it's just Lovely work, beautiful work. If you know, for those that never know, never heard of Mike Brook, I think looking at the, the work on these pages alone will make you an instant fan, in my opinion. This book is some of his finest work for Marvel, for sure. And I'm so glad that it was produced in a black and white format to showcase his talent to the fullest. The panel layout, the storytelling, it just very good. You know, I mean, he's it's nothing to complain about this book. Nothing to gripes. Just look at that.
and that is the end last panel what do you think Um, before I go, uh, I definitely want to bring attention to those that are not uh, aware of how much wonderful work um, that all of us can observe uh, on the internet. With Mike Pluck, all you gotta do is, like I have shown here, you can just Google his name and you are exposed to all kinds of wonderful artworks. That Mike Book has done in addition to what he has done in the comic field. Since he left the comic field, Mike Book has done more animation related work and his body of works there are simply breathtaking. Um, you know, I rank it right up there with the great Bernie Wrightson. In fact, if you look at some of the pictures, I uh, click on in this short clip you notice that the detail of these drawings are breathtaking simply incredible uh, I can say now about how much I enjoyed going through many of these pictures over the past many months and just look at them and study them and enjoy them because they are just simply beautiful um, for sure, you can also buy the Mike Pluck book uh, and have these in hand to enjoy them even more. Um, I have one of those books. Uh, unfortunately, I lend that book to a friend at the moment. Otherwise, I would show you the content of that book because it is an awesome book and worth the money. Uh, I can't recommend it highly enough um, for my book fan to go buy his book you can go on Amazon and buy it it's fairly inexpensive and um, my book has evolved over the years and I think today you know in my eyes he is one incredible illustrator I, I don't even categorize him as a comic book artist he's an illustrator it's just beautiful work and uh, in conclusion I hope you enjoyed this spotlight series on Mike Pluck it has been a pleasure talking about him and until the next artist thanks for watching